everyone i hope you're all doing really well thank you so much for joining me for today's video i've had my mum here with me today which has been so nice we haven't worked together for a little while so it's been really nice to have her around and we have shot some we shot five spring outfits that work for both of us so i'm 31 and roughly like a size 10 and mum is i think she might be 58 57 or 58 and she's roughly a UK 14 so these outfits kind of show different ages different sizes um, and I absolutely love them and they look so nice on her as well so I can't wait to show you those in this video and also um I need to update you on my patch tests because if you watched last week's vlog um I had some patch testing done on my back and I got the results on Friday so I'm going to tell you about those quickly but while I'm in the kitchen um something that I've had for ages now actually and i really need to make a decision it's some blind samples so these are the blind samples that i've got and they're all from blinds to go we got all of our wooden blinds from blinds to go a couple of years ago i'm really happy with them so i wanted to get a linen roman blind for our kitchen window here excuse everything in the garden we're having quite the reshuffle so everything's just a bit out of place at the moment um but yeah we want to put a roman blind here um and these are the fabric samples so i would like your help please i think i've narrowed it down to two i'm gonna use a bit of sellotape but like take the stick off of it because i don't want it to pull the paint off but i want to stick them up here so that we can like see them hanging up i think this one is too yellowy i mean i don't know if it shows up on camera but it feels quite yellowy this one is nice that is a possible this one is really nice but it's not linen and i really would like a linen blind and then this one is much this is called sandstone and that is really quite a sandy colour and I love that but I just don't feel that it goes that well with the kitchen cupboard. I think these two are my two options. What do you think? Either the oatmeal or the latte. I feel like on camera this is looking completely a different colour. Um, I don't know. Anyway, let me know if you think I should go lighter or darker. Okay, so quick update on the patch tests. Um, I literally, um, I won't bore you with everything, but um, as I said in last week's vlog, it was for contact, um, it was for contact allergies, so things that my skin would come in contact with. And the main one that came up was formaldehyde. And what the dermatologist was saying was that, um, this one can be airborne because it's in things like cleaning products and shampoos. So, um, even if, like, say, cleaning products are not directly on your skin, they are airborne. And that's why I was getting the swollen eyelids. And one of the ones that she said that I would find to be the most popular one in my products is called Quaternium 15. And that's in lots of shampoos, eye makeup, moisturizers, um, talcum powder. I have actually gone through loads of products that I use on a daily basis and I haven't found any ingredients, these ingredients. So I will keep these because she printed them off for me. Um, I will keep those and yeah, keep checking. So it's nothing, like it's not one thing. It's like there's like a few different ingredients that are like super chemically named that I need to like keep an eye out for. But one that came back that was quite interesting was nickel. So she said that, um, you know, things if you're wearing like costume jewellery and stuff where I don't, I used to wear that when I was younger, but now I only really ever wear uh, mainly like Monica Vinader and that's all sterling silver. So I don't really wear any of that anyway. So that's all okay. Um, so yeah, it was really interesting to find out my, my back. I've still got loads of like little bumps on my back because I'm really hoping they go down soon. So over the weekend, we had a really exciting delivery from Sky. Such speedy delivery on their next day delivery. And it was the brand new Sky Stream. This is the brand new Skystream and this is so exciting because this works over Wi-Fi and that literally is all you need. You do not need a dish. So exciting and really a big game changer for people who can't have a dish installed. When Tom and I live in, lived in our first flat, we couldn't ever get Sky because we couldn't have a dish installed. But now 
all you need is the little puck and literally plug and go. I don't like setting up new technology. There's always a problem, there's always an issue and I just find it really frustrating. But honestly, setting this up was an absolute breeze. Literally one cable into the power main, one cable with a HDMI cable into the TV, done. As I said, it came so quickly on their next day delivery. So no more big Sky boxes. This is the future of Sky. And this is the new Sky Stream. And I honestly feel so excited to be using it. <laughs> Also an updated remote and do you know what I find so cool about this is that they light up in the dark I think that that is such a game changer because how many times in the dark are you trying to like find the buttons anyway so this is the new sky stream and another thing that's so good about it is you've got all of your apps in one place so just everything is super easy to find you've also got the smart search so what you can do is just hold down this little microphone if you don't know what you're looking for you can get so much inspiration in just a second so let's just try comedy films so now it's bought up all of the comedy films. I've recently watched this, that's really good, The Estate. Also, do you know what I saw on here a second ago is Succession. And I can't believe that I haven't watched this. I feel like I really just need a good binge watch of this. I'll leave all of the Sky Stream details in the description box. And now it's time for some outfits. So first up, we've got one of my favorite, really like classic and timeless spring looks that I just feel like this goes to show it can really work for like any age, any size. So we've both got a stripy top on, more of like a chunky stripe. Mum's got more of like a fine stripe, which looks so nice on you. And mum's um, t-shirt's a bit more fitted, whereas I like a bit more of an oversized, but I think that like, that just works better for you, yes. I think. Yeah, it does. Both got a cream blazer over the top. You could also pop a trench coat over the top. And then we've got some blue jeans on. Where are yours from? They Tesco's. Are they? <laughs> they fit so yeah, nicely. They, they really fit comfortably. And then a really nice, like, straight leg, because I, I do think a straight leg is so much more flattering than a skinny yeah. jean now. Yeah. They look really and nice. And a nice length as well. Yeah, perfect, actually. Um, and mine are the ribcage Levi jeans. And then we've both got some fit flops on. These are the new, I think they're called F style. But we actually both love fit flop. They are so comfortable. You've worn them for years and years, have you? All sorts of fit flops and they're really comfortable. They're so nice. And these ones are really nice. And as you'll see, the outfits we're showing you today, I think in all the outfits except one, we're wearing these. They're super versatile. They go with so many different outfits i think because they've got the black sole they tie in with black things but also they've got the nude on them as well that ties in with the neutral things yeah very neutral do you know they're so easy and super comfortable and then we've both got basket bag on mum's got my tan one that i think now she needs for her wardrobe because it looks so nice <laughs> on her these are both loewe bags this was the my first ever loewe purchase and i think i got this in i think it was 20 18 or 2019 and it was kind of before Loewe blew up. These are both the medium sizes. This is their classic style and then this is the Paula's Ibiza one. Yeah, I love these bags so much and they just go with everything. Next up we've got a really comfy outfit and we both love a good like leggings and hoodie or jumper, don't we? Like to be comfortable. We do like to be comfortable. <laughs> Maybe I've got that from you. <laughs> um, but this is comfortable for sure but it's sort of elevated comfort. So under our trench coats, we've both got um, jumpers on, and mum's got the Indian Bing hoodie, and I've got a rotate sweatshirt on. We've both got trench coats on, but I've got one in this sort of like minty green color, which I really like, and mum's got like a classic camel trench. I always think if anyone's buying like a trench coat for the first time, always go for this classic neutral color. Um, I love a trench coat, I get so much wear out of it, so I've got this color as well, which I really like. Leggings, um, mine are Sweaty Betty, and these are like the best leggings ever. Mum's are next. Yeah, they're called Denim Jersey. Denim Jersey. Yeah. They're almost like, they're a bit thicker than leggings, aren't they? Yeah. They're a bit, almost like jeans, but not. And they've got a pocket in the back, which yeah. sometimes is good to tuck your phone in. Smarter than leggings, almost. But yeah, they're, they're a bit thicker. Yeah, they're a bit yeah. thicker, but look kind of like leggings. And then we've just got trainers on with it as well. And again, basket bags because we are in spring i know the weather is saying that it's not but 
I love adding like a straw bag to your spring outfits because I feel like it just instantly adds that springiness to an outfit. They're always big and good sizes and in the spring these just become like my everyday bag. Okay, next up we've kind of got exactly the same one actually. Um, I absolutely love this look. It's really simple but clean and it feels quite smart while still being comfy, doesn't it? Yes, yeah. I think in summer this is a nice one for the office. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's smart, just yeah, isn't it? it's smart. It's smart but also it's not it's not too smart officey if you know what I mean. No, I think no. it gives like a bit of a mix. So we've actually got the same trousers on, but Mum's ones are actually the shorter length. So on H and M, um, these linen trousers they're seventeen ninety nine, which I thought was so good. Mine are the full length ones. But mum's are the cropped ones. Probably a little bit shorter, aren't they? Yeah, so. I think you're more <laughs> five foot three and I'm about five foot four. Um, so that's just a like, reference on the length. We've got our fit flops on again that are just going with so many outfits. We've both just got little black vests and black blazers, which is super simple. And then bags, we've got um, straw bags, but with black details, just to tie in with the black blazers. Really, really love this look. This is one I'm gonna like bank for those days that you don't know what to wear. Because it's, it's easy to pop it's on. It's really and easy. Yes. No, I mean, do you? Very much so, yeah. yeah. It's something I wouldn't normally wear. I want definitely. to see you in this outfit. I will. Because <laughs> it looks so <laughs> nice on you. On to look number four, I think this is. Okay, so the trousers that we've got on are the same that we just had on, but in black. But I've got the cropped ones on now. Um, Mum's got the cropped <laughs> ones on again. But these ones are, these are shorter, they aren't are they? They are shorter, yeah. So the black cropped are shorter than the beige cropped. Um, yeah, I don't know. and also they feel a little bit tighter than the beige ones, and I'm wearing the same size. Yeah. I'm wearing a size small, and Mum's got the large on. I think they fit really nicely though. They're very comfortable. They're they? nice. Yeah. Um, okay, we've got more stripes on. I think stripes for spring are so nice, and it just adds a bit of like subtle pattern, mm. doesn't it? Yeah. It's a yeah. quite timeless pattern because sometimes. It is nice to add something in, but I don't like to wear too many prints because I feel like you can get bored of them. Yeah. But with stripes, they're quite classic. And then we've both got a denim shirt over the top. So my one is, I can't remember if it was last year or the year before from H&M. And then the one that mum's got on, this is this year's H&M. This is new, um, really nice. They're very much the same shape and that kind of oversized, long, nice top. We're both wearing a size small and they're big. Yeah. So I feel like you definitely like can size down on this. They are, they are pretty big. We've got the fit of flops on. Again, they're just working with everything. Okay, for our fifth and final look today, we're actually completely matchy. <laughs> We've got slightly different, different styles. Jeans. Yeah, different jeans on, but very matchy. So these lovely chocolate brown linen shirts are from What The Brand. They're such a nice soft linen because, do you ever find linen can sometimes be itchy? Yeah, it's quite yes. scratchy yeah, and thick. You don't know this linen, do you? No, it's, it's so soft. super soft and lovely. We're both wearing a size small, uh, I think that's small, I'll leave the links down below in this. And I just love the colour with the white jeans so much. And you, Mum's got more cream jeans on. It just, it's so nice, isn't it? Yeah, really I can't, nice. I can't wait for like more warmer weather to really like wear this. Mm. I've also got the um, matching brown linen shorts to this as well, which I love a little matching linen set in the summer. But for now, while it's not that warm, I thought we'd give it a go with jeans. Fit flops again, <laughs> but they just they just work with everything. Coming into everything. Bags we've gone for little summery bags. Mine is from Stradivarius. Mum's is the Loewe basket bag. That's it. Another just very simple, classic, easy outfit, um, but that looks like. Yeah. You feel good, don't you? Very also, good. another thing that I forgot to say earlier is when I wear quite simple outfits like this, I just like to make sure I've got like a good amount of jewellery on because otherwise I feel like it can look a bit simple. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I you need to dress it up a little bit, don't you? Yeah, adding jewellery really just like finishes it off so nicely. I've put this job off for so many weeks and it's time to paint the fences in the garden. We painted them like two years ago, I think it was. And um, there's a couple of new fence panels and some have like chipped and just gen general wear. So I want to repaint all the fence panels. Today I'm sporting a very nice outfit. Links will be below, joking. My hair is unbelievably greasy, but I've just been like, I haven't been doing anything so I've just, so I've just actually wanted to 
leave it for as long as possible but i'm gonna wash it tonight and i can't wait old jumper old leggings and just wait for these shoes i actually haven't shown you these and i know you're all gonna want to rush out and buy them i can't believe i'm showing these on here these are my garden shoes and they live by the back door but they're just so easy to just slip on and off and i actually love them that like they're really comfortable <laughs> I would never wear them out, obviously they're just for garden use only. But today I'm gonna paint in these because if I get any paint splatters on, that's okay. I don't wanna get any paint splatters on my trainers. So yeah, that is the, the glamorous life of today. Me and Tom just had a bit of a bicker about opening the paint can. He's gone to the gym, which I'm actually glad because I can just get on with this in peace. Otherwise he does like to, with jobs like this, he does like to tell me how to do it. And I think I am capable of painting a fence. So I'm going to grab my AirPods, where are they? And listen to a podcast while I do it. I've been listening to a new podcast. It's called Best Friend Therapy. And it's Elizabeth Day from How To Fail, if you've ever listened to that podcast. And it's her best friend called Emma, who is a therapist. So they talk through lots of, um, just like, general struggles and like how to deal with them and i'm really enjoying it so far so i'm going to listen to an episode while i paint the fences this is the current situation and this is what happened this was what the the bicker was over basically when we painted our fences a couple of years ago we used this tin of paint which was really good and it's called b deck and it's actually called barn paint but the reason why we loved it was because it's super thick and it just like you just need one coat i know sometimes with like fence paints they can be quite watery um sorry i'm whispering because it's actually quite early still um anyway so this had been sat in the shed for like a couple of years and we just couldn't get into it so tom decided to smash a hole open in it but the paint splattered everywhere anyway, so we have got a new paint anyway because there was only a little bit left in there so i'm just going to use from the new tin because that's so satisfying i'm actually really worried bertie's just gonna like come along and put his paw in here and then we're gonna have like paw marks all over the patio anyway so yeah um if you are looking to paint your fences i actually really would recommend this paint it's so so good and i've also got some new plants that need planting i probably won't do these today but i didn't want want to put the new plants in um because obviously i'm going to have to kind of get in the flower beds to paint and i didn't want to trample on them and um, so our neighbors here had an extension and um, so they had to take out this fence panel so hence there's a new fence panel there and then the fence panels over here have just like worn a little bit can you see kind of just along here so i just want to go over all of that so they're looking nice and fresh i feel like the garden just definitely is not looking its best at the moment um but it's my birthday in a couple of weeks and we're having a barbecue so i really want to get it all ready for then so i'll show you this more oh, i feel like i need to get back for you to see it but this is the roof that Tom wanted to put on the pergola and it actually looks quite good and he's done quite a nice little detail at the front here but all of this wood this needs painting as well um I think I might I think I might leave that to him because that's you're gonna have to go up on a ladder to do that day two of painting and today's job we're doing the shed um basically the we actually painted everything like two years ago but just with like weathering um it had like really faded and some bits had come off so actually it's made such a difference it looks so crisp and fresh we finished all of that side of the fence yesterday and then today we're gonna do 
this bit. I did the planter yesterday. Um, my little balls have died, so these do need replacing. I feel like the garden is looking quite messy, but we've got the painting done and now I can fill my pots and get the borders done. Tom's just getting right in the corner of that shed. We spent the entire weekend painting fences and sheds and just doing garden stuff and it's still like not finished. I just feel like this house stuff just takes so much longer than you ever think and we run out of paint as well so we've got a few bits still to finish off so more paint is on order and hopefully this coming weekend we'll get that all finished. Um, it's my birthday next week and we're having a barbecue so we wanted to like get all of the garden ready and like revamped and like cleaned up and tidied up for that and also I'm just praying that warm weather arrives soon. The garden is still like not looking great so when it's looking like a bit better I will show you it out there and kind of show you everything we've been doing. All of the outfit links as always will be linked in the description box below. Thank you so much honestly thank you for taking the time to watch my vlogs it honestly literally means the world to me thank you. I hope you're all having a lovely week and I'll see you next week. Bye!